Hi guys, in today's video we'll be taking a look at the status strip control. This control allows you to put some user interface items in the footer of your Windows forms. So let's jump into Visual Studio and take a look. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that I'm doing a new C-sharp video every day. So if you don't want to miss those, be sure to subscribe. So the first thing we want to do is create a new project. It will be a Windows Forms app.NET Framework C-sharp template. We'll click Next. And we will call this one Status Strip. Click Create. And the first thing we want to do is add a status strip. So we'll just scroll through our toolbox until we find status strip and we'll drag it out. So status strip by default will just dock into the bottom and you'll see that we, when we click it, we have some UI here for adding different items to the strip. So we'll add a label to begin with and you'll see now we can click the label and we can view its properties. We can give it a name. I'll just leave everything as default there, but I will update the text. So if we go in here and say my status label, and actually, no, let, let's name this. We'll, we'll call this one LBL status. So we can update that from our code behind. And you'll see it, it docks to the bottom and it, it looks very familiar because actually lots of programs have a status strip and they're used to sort of indicate uh, perhaps what's going on. Maybe if your app connects to something, you might say connected here. You might even have like an icon with a little green tick or something to show the user, right, where we are actually currently connected. But you can add a few other types of controls in here as well. So we'll, we'll add one of those. We can have a, let's have a look. Should we look at the drop down? And in the drop down, this works very similar to the tool strip that we looked at before. Let's do some test buttons in here. And, you know, as with the tool strip you can uh, as with the menu strip you can double click them and populate their on click methods uh, so those are pretty handy uh, we'll add a let's add a progress bar so we just looked at progress bars in the previous video these work in exactly the same way they just get docked into the status strip so we can set the value on those just like before and it even animates in a very similar way uh, we can also add in split buttons just name this one test and then if we just go ahead and run that you can see it works very much like the file menu that we looked at before we've got our status bar and if we go into let's add a button and we'll just update some of the values in here so we had our lbl status we'll just set the value to offline we've also got our status strip one actually no what do we call it i don't think we gave it a name let's go back so our progress bar what do we call that one no, we didn't so we'll just call it progress and we'll jump back in here and we'll set our progress bar value to 100 and if we go ahead and run that see we can sort of update that status bar in real time and now we're offline so that's the basics of the status strip you can add labels you can add buttons you can add status bars and you can update them from your code pines hi i hope you found that video useful if you have any comments or feedback then please leave me a comment below i'm currently doing new videos every single day so if you'd like to be notified about those then hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one